the greatest reason for weakness of Iman is being detached from the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of His Prophet This is number one. This will kill you every single time. If you are detached from the Book of Allah, meaning you don't read it, you don't ponder upon its meanings, you don't memorize it, you don't try to implement it in your life, then you cannot be wondering why your Iman is weak. Because you have no attachment to Allah. The Prophet ﷺ said, I leave behind with me two things. If you hold to them, you will never go astray. The first of them is the Book of Allah, which is like a rope. One end of it with Allah Azza wa Jal and the other end of it in your hands. If you let go of that rope, then you lose your connection with Allah Azza wa Jal. You have to continue to keep that connection with the Book of Allah. The only way we know Allah is by that which He has revealed to us about Himself. And where else are you going to find that which Allah has revealed to us about Himself other than in His Word? Other than in His Word. This is the words of Allah Azza wa Jal. This is as close as you're going to get to being near to Allah in this life is through your connection to Allah through His Book. Because even in our Salah, people say, yeah, our Salah is our connection with Allah. Is there any Salah that is valid without the Book of Allah in it? Is there any Salah that is valid without the Book of Allah being in it? So you can't tell me that Salah is the only connection you have with Allah because if you don't have the Book, then you don't have the Salah. So the Book of Allah Azza wa Jal is the most important thing. It is primary. It is primary. I can't stress the importance enough that if you don't pick up the Quran at least once a day, in the morning or in the evening or any time, and at least thumb through something, and try to understand it, then you have lost a severe connection with Allah Azza wa Jal. You've lost it. And if you just read the Arabi, MashaAllah, may Allah reward you with the hasanat of every single letter you read. But if you don't understand it, what is it going to do for you? You don't know what Allah is even telling you. You are saying something that Allah is commanding you and you don't even understand it. It's like you sitting here speaking, if I gave this language in, in, in a language that I made up, you wouldn't benefit from it and I wouldn't know what I'm saying. So no one's going to get benefit from this. You get benefit from the Book of Allah through its recitation and its understanding. You get the hasanat through its recitation and you get benefit through its understanding. Allah says in Surah Al-Furqan, Glory be to him who has revealed this book unto his slave. For what reason? لِلْعَالَمِينَ nadira, So that it can become to mankind a warning. Not just so that it can become to mankind a kirat, a recitation. It is to be to mankind a warning. A warning. The first verse revealed to the Prophet ﷺ after Iqra bismi rabbika ladhi khalaq was what? Ya ayyuhal mudathir, kum fa'anzir. Get up and go warn someone about me. The Quran is supposed to warn us, it's supposed to advise us, it's supposed to encourage us. And we cannot wonder why the Muslims are so disobedient to Allah. For me, that solution is very simple. Aisha radiallahu anha, she described it very well when she talked about how the Quran was revealed. And we have lost that understanding. She said, had the verses of halal and haram been the first things to be revealed, then everyone would have ran away from the deen of Allah. Everyone would have just took it off. They would have said, no way, man. If the first thing that was revealed was forbidden alcohol or, or, or fornication or gambling or these things, they would have said, no way, man. We don't have time for this nonsense. She said, but the first things to be revealed were the verses of Jannah and Nar. Till the hearts were so attached to Allah, the qalb was so attached to Allah that whatever Allah revealed after that, they responded with Sama'ana wa ata'ana. We hear and we obey. If the hearts are not attached to Allah, we don't we should not wonder why people are so disobedient. Because they don't fear anything. They don't care about anything that Allah gives them if it's not in dunya. And they don't even really understand akhirah, nor do they fear it because it seems like it's a long off fairy tale. It's a long off fairy tale, especially for you young men. It's an unfortunate fact that you think your youth is on your side and it's not always the case. So for those of you who think your youth is something that you can just play around with, take disadvantage of it if you want and see how Allah Azza wa Jal takes it from you. Khams uh, qabla khams. Take advantage of five things before five. One of them, shababaka qabla haramik. Take advantage of your youth before your old age. Your, your health before your sickness. So we need to wake up to this reality that if we're not constantly fixing the heart, then we have a problem.